you have, you know, push your weight around. <laughs> <laughs> gas, gas, mate, you know what I mean? Do we need to evacuate? We're so, going to slag him off in a sec, so we should say well done for the things he's done. Well, well I'm not too faced. <laughs> no. Oh, look at this. This looks all right. Thank you. Hold well on. A bit burnt, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> You're giving a Donald Trump! Yeah. <laughs> this has probably all made the cut, you know. Probably has all made the cut. It's tour diaries, we're here. Yes. Um, Lee, pleasure. How are we? James, you know what? It's, 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 uh... Excited for tour diaries. <laughs> it's good to be here, man. We're back here in LA. We were out here last year, but this time's a bit different because we're here for a little bit longer. Um, by the way, look at, I, can, I can't believe this, right? In the background, look who's cooking, yeah. making breakfast. What are you making? Chef says, egg and bacon, <clears throat> signs, I guess. Yeah, without no <laughs> Unbelievable. You didn't get ketchup. <laughs> no ketchup. Went all the way to the store yesterday. Didn't get oh, no ketchup. You didn't have ketchup on uh... I think, like, you know, I put it in the comments. It's, you know, if you're having an egg and bacon sandwich, do you have ketchup with it? I think you do. No, you don't. I don't, anyway. I don't have to kill my thing. What do you do? Probably would have it. It's not, yeah. it's not be all and end all. I just can't believe he's cooking. I can't believe he's cooking, man. And I'm, I'm wondering whether to risk it or sort of. Did you wash your hands? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you scratched them, did you? Oh, that's oh. oh my God. Now I'm not eating. Though. Obviously, my mind's been made I'll have, up. I'll have two then. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Of course, there's somebody missing here, right? There's missing it. Right? We've got no um, Julian. Because, I, you know what? I can't work this guy out, right? He helped to book everybody's seat on this thing. He was liaising with Priscilla. And big up Priscilla. to him for that. Big up to him. Yeah, well done. Well, we're going to slag him off in a sec, so we should say well done for the things he's done well. Well, I'm not too faced. <laughs> no, 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 you know. but, no, I said we're going to slag him off. <laughs> the thing is about it, right, is that he's helped to organise it, right? Him and Priscilla. Priscilla's my PA for anybody who don't know, right? They've done all the organisation for it. They've got the property, the lovely house that we've got here. Really, Beautiful. really nice. Um, they sorted out all the travel, flights. Then it turns out he ain't done his own flight because he's trying to get a cheaper flight to come out here. What, what, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you just travel with everybody else? And then... He misses that flight because it all gets messed up because the guy was supposed to sort it out for him um, was over in LA and because of the sort of computer outage stuff that happened last week. Well, that's what he claims. Personally, I feel that this guy said to himself, you know, I'm fed I'm up. I'm fed up with him. <laughs> I'm fed up with him asking me for freebies all the time. So I'm going to make him suffer. And he has suffered, you know what I mean? Now, I mean, he's coming in today, isn't he? He's going to be on a flight. Well, yeah, unfortunately, he uh, got a message this morning saying, oh, I, I'm, I'm going to, uh, can I say this? Oh, well, it, say it all gets edited after, no, well, so you can always cut yeah, it out. When it, I, I was hoping it'd miss today's one as well. I really was. Is that a bad thing to say? But I really was That's hoping bad. Come on. that he would get to the airport and they'd turn him away again. Like, oh. You mean serious? Yeah, I am being serious. That's well, outrageous. I, he's I most looking forward to hanging out with you. I know. And that's what I you've know, had to I say. Feel bad. I feel <laughs> that's bad. what he's saying here. Yeah. I feel bad about it. But when I see he's, he's made the plane, I was genuinely gay. <laughs> I was genuinely disappointed. It was like Spurs getting three points on a Sunday. <laughs> I was disappointed, you know. I'll get over it, but I was disappointed. I don't know. I don't get it. I don't get it with this guy. Why he... It's just like it's a hustle, everything. When yeah, he's a hustler, isn't he? He's like... Just to save a few quid, you know what I mean? Just well, rumour has it, Robbie, that he, he, didn't, he didn't come in today because he didn't want to do the shop and put his donation in for that and get free food tomorrow. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? so, I'll tell you, like, there's always a motive like, with him. You get a saying out of it. It's not just the plane, though. It's the car. The car. And then he gave us the wrong address to this place as well. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, when Julian, we turned man, up here yesterday, we went and we got to the wrong house. Did you knock him up? Right. Luckily, we didn't. You know what I mean? We didn't. Right, but as you know, America is not the place to go into the wrong house. You know what I mean? Well, you know that's why I sent them guys out. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, like, <laughs> I sent big, Jason. Big up that. Jason. <laughs> they didn't want the, the black guy turning up at the wrong house, right? <laughs> right. So listen, he's messed up everything. Everything he's messed up. Well, we made it. Here we are. It's a but great we are here. We are here. It's a great house. Um. Now, but, but he wound us up yesterday, but. 
He sorted. He checked me in. He sent me my boarding pass. Mm. He did everything. He did everything for everyone. But what, and what, didn't make it on a plane. That's so the that's this matter. Big, up, big up to Jesus. I have to say, the organisation has been fantastic this year. Like, you know? Yeah, it has been. It's been fantastic. We've got here... No, yeah, it's been Why really are you smirking? Good. I'm not smirking, just saying it's been really good. It's been really good. He's always got a motive behind it, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think it's been really I'm good. I'm waiting for the punchline. No, 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 it's been really yeah. good. We got here, you know, virtually hassle free. Mm. Do you remember last year we were coming? We, we had like, yeah, yeah. We had to, wait, to wait in those queues for hours. Do you remember at Heathrow? Yeah. But this year yeah, it's yeah, yeah. like through quite, quite comfortably. Yeah. Mm. Looking forward to it. This, the thing is, right, that talking about on the field of play now, like, um, Last year, we had Timber, mm. Havertz, and Deccan Rice to look forward to. We hadn't seen them in an Arsenal shirt before. We were looking forward to all of those three playing. This year, we've got nobody. We haven't, even if you included David Raya in one of those savings, in one of those, uh, yeah, you know, right, signings, yeah. yeah? Even he ain't it because of the Euros. I mean, there's going to be no Raya, no Saka, no Rice, no Saliba. Um, who else? No Ramsdale. Ramsdale. No Ramsdale. Yeah. None of those guys. I think Arteta was saying in his press conference that... The other guys are coming in, aren't they? Havertz, Gabriel. Saliba, Gabriel, Martinelli might make it. Don't, but it sounds to me... I don't know about Saliba, but yeah. I think those three, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The two Gabriels and... Yeah, they're, they're coming out Havertz. for the Philadelphia bit, aren't they? Yeah. Calafiori bit, should join soon. He, he'll, he'll be with the team, mm. I imagine. Calafiori... You know, but, well, that'll be the exciting one, isn't it? Yeah. If, if we can get Cal- <clears throat> you know, get that done, get him over here. Because I do feel a little bit sorry for the fans over here because they are going to be missing out on seeing like, you know, the players that were absolutely integral to Arsenal last year. I don't know what's clicking. What's going? Why is that clicking like that, bro? I don't know why it's clicking. It's gas, gas, mate, you know what I mean? Do we need to evacuate? I don't know why it's clicking. I told you, don't let him. Why is it clicking? Do you know what, right? Take over the vlog for a minute because I don't want to die. Oh, he's done it. Turn it off then. Um, it's not going off. Can you guys hear the clicking? Yeah. Can, we, can you, you know. Yeah, but I don't know why it's this guy's going to kill us, Jess, man. trying to do some content. <laughs> <laughs> the guy's going to kill us. Is, is he alright? <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> let's. Oh, he's no, done, done it. Well done. well done, Ryan. Big up, Ryan. Ryan, Ryan. Ryan. Well done. Um, That's why you're here, Ryan. Yeah. Well done. A bit That's the reason. As well, no. yeah. Forget vlog day one. <laughs> vlog day what? By the, the way, what, what a job he done for that? Yeah, got to say that. No, no, he did do a great job. Everyone, go check out the vlog. No, no, no. This guy's video me sleeping and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. you guys don't understand how close you come to getting the sack. Really? Yeah, well, I'm not yeah, surprised. Yeah, I've had enough of, of it, man. You know what I mean? You, know, you, you have, you know, push your weight around. What should I say? <laughs> <laughs> you were nearly gone and all. <laughs> right. But the Califiori thing's interesting. Mm. Do you reckon he'll get out? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I, I think now... That it's so annoying because we keep hearing different things. It's, oh, it's, it's to do with Basel and Bologna agreeing, the sell-on thing. And then it's actually it's nothing to do with that. Oh, so I'm going to agree the fee yet. Then we agree the fee and then it's, okay, now it's back to that. And apparently Roma wanted a, a percentage or a cut. Or yeah, something. yeah. So Everybody wants a cut of this it's deal. It's just yeah. like, what's going on? Roma, Basel. So it's what I'm saying, know. a trickle-down effect. You know, yeah, you know what I mean? Who... I mean, we we were out talking from Aubameyang then because he's had three transfers since he left us on a free. This, but, I'll tell you what, whoever wrote that sell-on clause in, because he seems to have a sell-on clause yeah. for every club he's ever been he's at. He's going to have one in our one. He's, you know, there's going to be a sell-on clause apparently yeah. in our deal. Something like 10, 15% or something. Probably the school he went to, there's some sort of clause from them as well. You know what I mean? He went yeah. to our school, so we're entitled to 5% <laughs> or something like that. I mean, look... Uh, I think he'll get out here. I think he'll be here this week. Um, you'll probably get pictures of him on the bench from Man United. I imagine he'll do some training. As in, on the bench, as in, you know, like Zinchenko and Orlando, yeah. when he was kind of yeah, pictured with yeah. they do. And then maybe in Philadelphia, he'll play some football. I think with Havertz, Martinelli and Magalhaes, the two Gabriels, I, I don't, I think they'll join the squad. July 25th was the date the given. Part. They won't, they won't play. But inter- you know, Arteta gave a really good press conference. Because, you know, sometimes he can be quite coy with, you know, he doesn't want to give too much away. He was quite honest. When he was asked about the players getting back for the start of the season, he went, as far as I'm aware, I'm expecting him to be ready to go by that first game. And he said, you know, the conversation we've had, I expect him to be ready. And I wonder whether the fact that some of these players played competitive football more recently means they can get, oh, look at this. This looks all right. Thank you. Hold on. A bit burnt, isn't it? <laughs> Appreciate it. I might not eat it while we're recording, but thank you. Oh, cheers, man. 
It's actually good. We that's yeah. thank you, Sess. I don't know, I've done a good are, job. You're not making any for yourself. What about everyone else? Production team, production team. <laughs> just did, yeah. yeah. Do you know what? You guys may as well eat this now, and you can make another. Because oh, bless his heart. Anyway, Arteta was saying he expects them back soon, and I think, I think the fact these players play competitively quite recently, mm. you know, they're not going to. Can't even do that, right? Can he? They're not going to be miles off competitive fitness. I know they've been mm. on holiday, but. I expect Philadelphia against Liverpool, we see what looks like a real Arsenal. Yeah. I'll tell you what, right, as well, these are tough games we're playing. Mm. Even at Bournemouth game, I bet they'll be up to speed. They haven't had loads of players away. They'll probably be a bit more prepared than we are, Mm -hmm. right? And Bournemouth are a decent side. So you've got Bournemouth. Then, you know, that's not going to be an easy game, obviously, against Man United. They beat us last time in the pre-season. And then we've got Liverpool. From what I understand, Liverpool got well, a big support in Philadelphia as well. So, Do I get a drink? you know, it's going to be, uh, it's, it's, a, it's, it's some testing games. Yeah, and I, 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 honestly, I don't think we should go overboard whatever happens in these games. I, yeah, I, no. I, I don't think but you don't want to lose all three, for instance. Yeah, yeah but, but I, like, we lost to Man United too. And we'll probably lose by more this time around because we're not quite prepared. But it don't matter. Look what happened to our yeah. season to theirs last season. So I don't think you should go overboard about it. It is this tour for me is just getting the guys up up to speed that have not been. I tell Euros. you what it's about, Lee. This is more than more than the previous tours we've done. This is more about the individuals than about the collective for me because everything point. Arteta's done with the team. We looked every time he's rotating the cup slightly, the levels have dropped massively. So I'm not expecting Arsenal to look scintillating or tour. They do brilliant, but I need Vieira to look good. Mm. Yeah. Like I'm really interested to see what Nuneri does. Um, try and think of the other Jay players Zeus. during Timber Jay Zeus. Jay Zeus like how do these players look for me listen I'm being hyperbolic to make a point but if Jesus Vieira Timber come out this tour looking brilliant but we didn't win any of the games I'll still take a lot of encouragement 100%. but obviously it's easy to say that now when I'm watching I'm in the game I'm going how mm. do we look so far off the pace and that'll be a different conversation but there's individuals there that I really want to yeah. see them. Look, Zinchenko's another I put in Zinchenko's there. Zinchenko's a big one because yeah. if you remember last year, he never he was on the tour, but never played one minute of the tour. Yeah. Yeah, and I right. don't know if that goes into the season. It sometimes. does, man, it does. I if you haven't got a proper pre-season. pre-season. So I think I'll tell you another one, right? And I was chatting to a guy at the airport yesterday um, about him, right? Thomas Partey. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Thomas yeah. Partey, yeah. because, you know, obviously Rice, has, you know, he's played all that, so many games. We won't know if he'll be ready for the start of the season. And then there's a, we, we don't know what's happening with Partey, right? Mm. Because there was all these rumours saying that he was going to go to Saudi Arabia. That's all gone cold. I, I personally think that if there is no huge bid from Saudi Arabia, I get the feeling Arsenal will keep him. And then I saw these rumours the other day that he'd like to just stay and see out the rest of his contract at the very least, right? This could be a very important season for him. He came in at the end of last season. He looked pretty good, mm. right? Slightly off the pace at first, but he looked pretty good, right? If we got a fully fit Thomas Partey, and I know people might watch this and say, yeah, but he's never fit. But if you remember, the season before last year, he was literally fit the whole season. He just yeah, got, he played a lot of games. It's just the injuries at the, right at the end, wasn't it? Yeah. If we get a fully fit Thomas Partey, who has a full pre-season and that could be a good addition to the Arsenal team. I well, mean... Sorry to cut you, what do the Mikel Marino links tell us? If they are as strong as, you know, reports are saying that we're really in for a player, he's a number eight. So it doesn't feel like... Remember what we were talking about the other week about you felt we really needed a six, especially if Partey came in. But you've got Jorginho, Rice, Partey already in there. Adding Marino almost says that Partey's not going anywhere, really, because we've added that kind of player rather than someone that would play in his position more naturally. Yeah. I don't know, am I really and too much just into a, it? If you've got Partey there as the option, right, that is a very strong option in that midfield, right? Mm. And we're going to need it this year because, you know, mm-hmm. Champions League is a longer format. We want to do better in these um, other competitions as well. And it just, it just really, competition for places becomes, if you've got a Partey as well, this is what I, I'm looking at football nowadays a little bit different, right? It's, it really is about squads, using your subs and stuff like that. Yeah. If you've got a game. parte that you can bring on in games, a fully fit parte, or he starts some, he comes on in, I mean, that is a great addition to have. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I'm not a big parte fan, to be honest. I think he makes the midfield job look so easy when he's fit. But it's when he's fit. Yeah. And, and it's a big worry. The other worry for me now is, 
Tommy Asu again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, reading reports today, like, you know, when I was they out by the know that. They don't know how bad the injury is. Yeah, they reckon he could be out for the whole pre-season, which, uh, that, that is a worry. He's all, another one that's mm. always injured. Luckily, and, we're stacked in that position, yeah. but it's a, that's a concern. It's I a big really concern. like him, but... It's a big it's, concern. Yeah. It's a big concern. Yeah. But, yeah, it's going to be a different sort of um, pre-season in the... It's not about loads of exciting signings that we ain't seen before. It's about, you know. Yeah. You're still looking forward to it, the games? No, or, of course, or? man. I'm looking forward to it because you know, my, I always love coming here and meeting the fans. And um, the fans in the US are brilliant. And we know that all the games are big. They're all going to be packed. And I think as well, Arsenal, we've got a really good grounded team now. It's not like we need... Massive signing. Loads yeah. to add to it. But you know what I will say, yeah? I've, and I've been one of these people who's been critical of Arteta in that dead rubber Champions League game, not playing youngsters, and us not really having that good an idea. Like, how good was Walters now he's left? How good was Cozy Adubri? Mm. Chido Bimata, we know he's been linked with Man United. I will say, like, I'm excited to see Ranieri. Lewis Skelly mm. played the preseason game... Um, the behind closed doors win against Leighton Orin at left yeah. back. So he was inverting and you saw with Jesus' Not goal, well. he's, he's in central yeah. he plays a lovely ball through the lines. So is Lewis Skelly going to be a part of that mm. back four we don't realise? When we're talking about depth and options, maybe he has something else, you know, that Zinchenko was doing quite well before. So I'm interested to see how these players do. Like, Patino didn't go. He didn't travel. No. Uh, Norton Cuffey didn't travel. So the youngsters that have gone are the ones that Arteta... He's not basically just filled up with the most senior academy players. He's gone, right, yeah. who's actually potentially got a future at this club? You know, we're going to see the likes of Rosiak and a few others. But Nwaneri, Lewis Skelly, I'm interested to, I'm interested to see Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a big moment yeah. for them. He's a big moment at the moment. And you see young players right now, they're getting more ambitious than it was, you know. Mm. I mean, you, you know, if you're a young player and you just watch those Euros and you've seen uh, Lamine Yamar, yeah, at 16, yeah. do what he did. Yeah. You're thinking, I could do that. Well, I'm, you, I, I'm, I'm ready now. You know what I mean? That's yeah. how a lot of these young players are looking on it. So, at Enwen Yeri, remember, he played at 15. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, he'll be chomping at a bit. I'm excited to see what he can yeah. do as well. Um, yeah. You never know. He could, like, have a... You can have a great preseason and that propels you into the first team and then you're, you're in the team, first team for the rest of the season. Yeah. So... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a big moment for these guys. It's, they're on the big stage. All of these games now... Even though they're friendlies, you're on the big stage because they're, they're, they're going to be like 80,000 fans at games and stuff like that. They're going to be packed out. They're high-profile games, Man United, Liverpool, etc. Yeah, it's a chance to shine. Do you remember like back in the day, you'd never play against Liverpool or Man United? No, so, no, I mean, no. You'd avoid that. In the league, you? would you? You'd maybe just... get like a Juventus yeah, or a Barcelona. Like, but I mean... but now, now we're playing like three games against Premier League opposition, you know, yeah. which is... Yeah, and even... Fun. Even, um, is it, is it yeah, all right? No, How's it taste? Can I just interrupt? So, what have you been doing up. the last 10 minutes? <laughs> he's, been, he's, he's had his oh, juice. Right. He's put his juice down. He's had his juice again. He's wiped some crumbs. <laughs> he's walked around the kitchen a bit. <laughs> you know, there's like Curtis, production, you know, like, I mean, I'm really grateful. I don't really think I'm not, but... As it happens, it's not bad. It's not bad, it's all right. Well done. Well done. Well done. You try to show me something off screen. I go, how I'm expected to read that, you know. What I mean? like, you know things about this small. I think. Yeah, what, from what, what, what do you want to ask? <laughs> well, okay. What are we most looking forward to in LA? Then? Most looking. Was that what he was trying to get me to read? That's that small. Yeah. Yeah. Most looking forward to in LA. Oh well, obviously the games, but also the city, man. I love the city. I love to take in um, the city in full. Do you know what it so, is? We're, we're, we're here for two games, so we're you know, here for a little while. Yeah, longer than we were last time. Yeah. Came um, so, yeah, we're going to settle in and just, I don't know. Where do you want to go? Experience it. The beaches. The beaches. Oh, yeah, oh, Santa Monica. We could <laughs> yeah. go down Santa Monica Beach. And that. I know yeah. you'd love that, innit? Yeah. You're just lying it all day, don't you? You're boring, man. So that's all you're going to do. You just come here, you just out there lying, like, you've been sat in the sun for about the past we, hour and a half. We lay in bed all day, like, you know what I mean? Who so, lays in bed all day? Well, some of them do. I was up before you. Oh, I was up at 4.30 this morning. Know, and yeah. I've had a meeting. Can we talk about that? The I've had a lag. meeting. I've, uh, I've done um, a video. Well, all in that time, you've been out there just lying down, cooking like a bloody prawn. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, jet lag, though. Um, yeah, that wasn't... All kicked was... in yesterday, didn't it? I was like, oh, I wide awake at 3 o'clock this morning. I woke up at and 3 hungry. and I thought... 
no, not happening. Went back to sleep. Woke up at four. I was like, no. By five, I was like, right, that's it. Yeah, I think I woke up I back quarter to five. I just watched House of the Dragon and stayed up since then. Cause yeah, I woke up about quarter to five. The trick is, right, maybe just catch a little, before we go out later, a little power nap. Yeah. And then that, you yeah. know what I mean? That's a little trick. Did you hear Matisse missed his flight? <laughs> Matisse missed his flight. You know, by the way, yeah, <laughs> um, for everybody, Turkish is here, but he's in another house. He's, right? he's deserted six. us. He's with his big six guys, yeah, right? In some cushy house somewhere, but we're going we're gonna to go and check him soon. We've got Julian coming in. There's eight of us here in this house. We've got Curtis, he's around here. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, Babs, Babs is, is over as well. Babs is in LA. And as Flex well. is coming. He's a KG. Yeah, yeah, Flex and KG. United, United, United View, they're over here. They're coming. Or I think they're coming in Wednesday. Could be busy. This is an invasion of English uh, football fans. I mean, over here. It's going to be good, man. It's going to mm -hmm. be really exciting. That's the greatest thing about it, especially all these, these trips, like, you know. Yeah. Get to meet all the fans, get to see what mm. it's like mm. from a different perspective watching Arsenal. You that's, know what we should do? Fine. We should. This is a very off the cuff sort of show we're doing every morning but if people send in comments we'll look at any questions we want to ask about just like the tour like the tour in particular the trip do you know what right. I mean like obviously Arsenal related questions we'll kind yeah. of definitely do that but anything anyone wants to know about the trip in general yeah yeah what and people I'll are tell like, you what as well that. if anybody here and anybody um, here in LA who's watching this that you recommend us something to do like maybe something a bit off the cuff as well that we mm. weren't you know we'd be looking at all the obvious stuff but maybe something oh. that you think we should do. Okay, this is what I need. Swimming like a, with like sharks, a, that'd be good for you. <laughs> that's not happening. Um, <laughs> a, a, everyone, if you know, like a barbecue place. You know a place where they do like a proper like proper brisket and stuff like that. You know with the big like, yeah, you know the big yeah, barbecue yeah. things that they lift the mass. What's it called? Like a... Ribs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's it, no, no, not the food. The, the, well, stop eating and help me. You know, the, the thing, the oven thing. You know, the... The barbecue. The, the, oh, no, I think you get what I'm talking about. Griddle. It's, it's probably just a barbecue. It's probably just called a barbecue. Because this is quite Basically. nice. I think it's just, no, I'm good. Um, <laughs> anyone know where we can find that in nice LA? Like outdoor barbecue. That would be unreal. What about yeah. a water park? Would you like to go to a water park? That could be quite fun. Yeah. Well, what? we'll definitely go there. <laughs> you can't swim. <laughs> <laughs> water park is there. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, th I'm thinking. You know what? I've never done it. You know, you can go to the studios, the Hollywood yeah. studio. Like, I've never done that before. I've been there a few times. Well, I've never done that. Me in. That's something, maybe. What Universal? Not Universal, but you know, you can go to the actual like where they make films, like on those sort of studios. Oh yeah. Yeah. I've never done that. Yeah. Um, just something like that. Yeah, it's a lot to explore, man. Might like any clubs, any people with recommendations. That's a good point. Tables, all of that. Make sure you shout us. <laughs> Not sure about the <laughs> tables. Free tables, so we yeah. outside. We outside, man. Hey, yeah, we're here for a while, man. So we can yeah. do all that. You know what I mean? Thursday, Friday, Wednesday night after the game. Yeah, yeah we're here till uh, Sunday. Sunday, aren't we? We're till Sunday. We leave on Sunday. Yeah. Fly over to. That's fly. a good point because you know normally uh, when we had. Uh, tour last year because they went Washington, New York straight after the game yeah, the day yeah. after when you were travelling so that'll be fun Yeah, do some bits and pops yeah. you want it? <laughs> go on, go on, go on I don't know well, don't want it go on, you can have it you know, mate. You know production haven't had any no? Got some juice? yeah you know, Jason Ryan haven't, haven't, <laughs> look at this right. guy look like he's got a flecky butler he's or something he's unbelievable really. Look, the way he's passing that is like you don't want, you know, you don't want to pass it. He's That's actually unreal. passed it. Has he got more going? Well done, well done. You know what I mean? Has he put more on, Tess? I'll tell you what. Don't be a, it's actually don't outrageous. We're, we're a bangle. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bangle. Me and Robbie <laughs> twice last year, we did a full batch for the whole team. Eggs, bacon, the lot. And, yeah. and, and I'm, I'm grateful, Tess. I actually, no, I don't know more. But the poor, the, look how hard they're working. Yeah. No, but you know, I actually, how hard they're working they set this up yesterday you know what I mean I actually applaud him I didn't know he's capable of this Cecil. listen he's yeah. done a, I'm going to say it now he's done a very nice sandwich I'm a man of many talents and it weren't yeah. too uh, it weren't too greasy see you know sometimes you get an egg and bacon sandwich I don't yeah, really like yeah, yeah. biting so it all goes everywhere yeah. it, it, that's proper it's right? very compact a bit like he's um, presenting you know no, I thought I mean, like, say something else man. <laughs> but honestly I, I know thought, you're not sharing the room but don't go there he yeah. going? no he's a, man, he's a man of many talents he's, he's bringing dance. more orange juice and all that what's going on what are you, you, what's he, what, he what are you dance. after he's, he's after something you know he's just, the 
postman. We are known as the postman, yeah, there we are. We are, because we yeah, do. I know. They are known as the postman because they've been on strike for about the last two years. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> we deliver. Yeah, but if anybody knows anything, any things that out of the blue, yeah, that, sort of, not out of the blue, but you know, sort of things. If you that had a choice, what would not, you like? So you're saying, what would you want to do? What would you want to do, guys? Yeah, <laughs> I, I don't want to eat. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 I know you say I, it's I have to say, but like, yeah, I've never known seven blokes, and Julian will double that when people that eat so much. Like, you know what I mean, like, it must have been five meals a day yesterday. A lot of food consumption. Is Not it? from you, Rob. You know what I mean? You're disciplined these days. You know what I mean? So, uh, <laughs> I just gave away my sandwich. That's showing you. I would have normally killed that. I know you would have. <laughs> but, um... Outrageous. <laughs> I don't know. How have you not hit him? I know, well, man. I'm no... Yeah, he's a big these days. He's like, you know what I mean? Like, you know, the, the old, um, you know, heavyweight, middleweight competition now. Like, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's happening, like, you know? But uh, for me, I think... I wouldn't mind doing a water slide thing like that, you know I mean? I ain't done one of them for a long while. Okay. You know, one, that one's where you, you walk park, when you're standing in it, it sh- drops you straight oh, down. No, no, yeah, no, so, no, haven't you learned? Like, yeah, but it's not a yeah, no, Do you see when he went to that theme park the other day? And yeah. they had to wheel him out on a wheelchair. Now he's talking about <laughs> right, going to a water park and being dropped out of a... F- I actually don't know what you mean. Why? What happened? Did you not see the other day? He went to um, Fort, Fort Park. Explain. Yeah, I went to Fort Park and went on the... Um, what's it called? The, the one that goes all round and all that like. Colossus, whatever it is, yeah, made me oh, ill. I had to be carted off. <laughs> yeah, they, to... they thought he was having a heart attack. Uh, yeah. They <laughs> took it, they wheeled him out in a yeah. wheelchair and they shut had to down, pull. I shut down, shut down the ride. You know? <laughs> yeah. Shut yeah. down the ride and I had to call an ambulance. Yeah. Are you serious? Serious, yeah, my heart rate went really down and I was sweating and everything like that. Really bad. Yeah, and then now This he's... was like the other week at Thought Park. Yeah. <laughs> I'm never going again. <laughs> he shut down the ride. He shut down the ride, yeah. I'm proud of that. And now he's talking about going on some water slide thing over here. <laughs> no, but a water slide is different because they're just straight down, aren't they? Yeah, bro, you haven't learnt your lesson, man. I no more of those things. I could have said a roller coaster, but I don't, I'm not, I don't want a roller Why coaster. Why didn't I know this? Lee tried to shut down. You don't see, it was, it was all over the, the internet. I tried to keep it quiet. I saw it, you know what? My daughter well, like on Twitter it. and stuff, what people were like. <clears throat> My daughter showed me it on TikTok. No way. She goes, Dad, you need to ring your friend immediately. You know what I mean? He's in trouble. Well, people <laughs> filming you right. kind of getting like... He, he, he was being wheeled away in a wheelchair. Go on TikTok. I'll try to find it now. He's being wheeled away in a wheelchair and some little kid. He's obviously very worried. He goes, you're right, Lee. <laughs> and then he, he just sort of, he's in the wheelchair. He sort of looks back and goes like that. What did Dad not like that? Go on TikTok, you'll see it. It's yeah. on Instagram. Just put, yeah, it that, it just put Lee Judges nearly dies. You know what I mean? You, 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 when the kid said you're right, he gave it to Trump. Right? Yeah, yeah. He, yeah, he gave it to Donald Trump. Yeah. <laughs> 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 hey, hey, so take your stinging orange back. I don't want none of it. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> Your father and son comes out, doesn't it? Like, yeah, not, yeah. That's a good one. Hey. <laughs> Did you see it on it? No, I couldn't find it. So, someone... I don't find it. Someone find it. That's incredible. And he wants to go on more rides after all that. Yeah, they're, they're telling you, I mean, there weren't no picnic, James. I'd say I was really ill. They was really worried. They had to go on, with a good thing a badge, because um, Julian tried to do it afterwards, because what happened was... Right, Were you with Julian? Yeah, he went... Um, what happened was... Um, what was this? What was the trip? We were just doing some content, like, you know, and um, <laughs> when I went to the um, the uh, medics and all that, they said, oh, what you got to, uh, we've got to get him some some chips and loads of salt on them, like, you know what I mean? So I got some free chips and salt, like, you know what I mean? So Julian's saying, can I go on the ride? You know, <laughs> I just wanted the free chips and salt, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, you know? But yeah, I, and, and then if my heart rate didn't go up, they was going to have to send an ambulance and I was going to go in hospital. Yeah. Oh, my word. Family went mad because, like, you know... I'm glad you're all right. Kind of, yeah, yeah, that's Bloody a lot. You know, thank you, James. See, that's you're know, nice of you. Them two couldn't give a monkeys. <laughs> I'm, trying to, know, ser- I'm trying to search at the moment. But they're thinking I'm Donald Trump, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> but yeah, that, that is the, the nice side of you, seeing that I was well, all right. I'm, I'm trying to... In searching it, I put I Lee Judges in the room. Robbie, Robbie did phone me, like, and I could hear him laughing in the background. Like, you know, no, like, once I knew you was all right. But, yeah. well, I was worried at first. I was. I've never, I honestly, come, you know, as you get off the ride, 
I was sweating. All my legs, was, I, I, my shirt. No, that's a bad sign. My shirt was dripping wet. Wow. And, I, and I, 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 they were going, can you move to the move? I said, I ain't moving nowhere, I can't move. So they had to stop the ride and all that. And all, you know. 30 minute delay on the Colossus. Is it the Colossus? Oh. I don't know. It might have been. I can't Imagine find that it. announcement on the Tannoy. Yeah. So Colossus anybody that shut. was queuing up for Lee that day, from AFTV. I do apologise. You know requires I mean? medical care. Oh, I can't find it. But you know what? They, I was speaking to the medic who was a very nice guy and they looked after me and that. And they said like that that's the most, what they deal with the most is the C, it's not seasickness, it's, it's like motion sickness. Okay. Yeah. It's the, the biggest thing that they deal with. Well, um, production are telling us to shut the fuck up, so shall we? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to wrap it up now. Don't forget, we're going to be here every single day with the uh, tour diaries, right? We'll be having a chat about what we're going to be up to. We'll be talking about Arsenal. Of course, the game is on tomorrow, so Arsenal taking on Bournemouth on Wednesday, so we'll be all over that as well. Um, and I'll be joined by different people. Uh, we've got Turkish is out here, Curtis. Um, you see him in the background, you know what I mean? We're, we're Gordon Ramsay. We even, you know what, on one of these as well, I want to get one of the production guys to come in. I mean, they're always behind the scenes. Yeah, that'd be good. Get one of them to come. Get Jason or Ryan to come and sit in and tell us about, you know, because I I, I get asked that a lot. A lot of people ask me, they say, oh, well, you know, these guys, they put together these incredible vlogs and these incredible videos when you guys on tour. So, you know, let's put a face to it. Yeah, behind the the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. behind the scenes. They do a fact, I've got to say. You know, uh, I know that they're in the background there, but they do a fantastic job on these tours. They, they do, they, and they work hard. Work hard. They work hard. They you know, while hard. we're all asleep and all things like that. I've well, while you're asleep, you no, know what no, I Because mean? I'm, 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 normally up, I'm normally up filming with them well, while you're asleep. I got, up small, I got up this morning about two, two o'clock in the morning, couldn't find the bathroom. I don't know what was going on. And they were still working. What? Yeah, so they stopped work, found the bathroom for me, <laughs> and carried on working. But now they were still working. So right, big you, up say, you still big had up that up motion up. sickness. Yeah. Right. Anyway, thank you. Um, check out all of our content from over here in Los Angeles. Right. Thanks to Cecil for providing the food as yeah. well. Um, and um, thanks to you guys. Listen, we're looking to meet as many as possible whilst we're over here. I'm looking forward to the games. Arsenal, once again, running you through it. Taking on Bournemouth here in LA. Then they take on Manchester United. Then they go on to Philadelphia, where they will be taking on Liverpool. Three good, good games that they're playing over here. And we look forward to seeing you guys. And we're going to be covering those games comprehensively. So don't miss a thing. Keep it locked in. Thanks. Guys.